You guys join me on the start of a grand crusade, a battle that will shake the very foundations of the ancient world. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back once again to our Life of a Legionary, a series where we started off as an individual soldier in the Roman army. And now I would like to think that we are probably the emperor himself. Almost we have started a rebellion, which soon hopefully will gain enough support and then we'll be able to start that civil war and basically erupt into a a new dorm for Rome. You can already see that we actually do have one clan already joining us, which is nice. Hopefully more will. And then as soon as we hit that balance of power threshold, we'll be able to actually go to war with the Empress, uh, which will be great. And hopefully she just succeeds and we just go ahead and take our territory. However, as you can see that we are in a, a pretty interesting situation right now. We have two armies of 13,000 either side of us. If you go kind of TP here, you're going to see that we are in a, a very precarious spot right now. However, the plan of action was to basically con con kind of destroy this one army and then retreat back inside of a fort hopefully regain our strength and then push out and then take on this other army if they look to siege us then great we defeat them in the siege we also have this massive army over here that is currently sieging a germanic castle over off to the west so i think without further ado we just dive into this battle we get stuck in we assault them we defeat them here and then we push on and yeah kind of prepare ourselves but this is a battle where we're going to need to try and minimize casualties as best as possible. Annoyingly, because this is a sally out mission, we don't actually get to command our forces properly. Uh, however, not the end of the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up like this kind of a good formation where we have two lines of very good infantry. Uh, that should be pretty brutal. Uh, I think we'll get our archers up here and then I'm going to send my cavalry. I'm going to split them. So what the, the AI is going to do is it's going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and create two separate squads. And then I'm going to go ahead and take back control over them because I want to play very defensive with them. Uh, the Germanic army pushing forward yeah i mean it doesn't look too great there's there's a lot of low tier units in this army right off the bat their archers are super scary this is what we're gonna have to try and deal with and same with their cavalry as well however it doesn't really look like they have too much cavalry okay I, i'm not too scared yeah they have like no horse okay what the hell is my cavalry doing let's get this cavalry back immediately i don't want them like the ai when they command your cavalry is just so stupid i'm also going to tell all my infantry as well to hold fire so let's do that and then we just wait luckily as well the garrison is charging forward which might seem pretty bad but look at how many javelins they're absorbing they are basically taking the entire initial volley from this and they might get in and kind of get some kills as well so when the ai does come over here to attack me uh we're going to be in a very good situation and we will form up that shield wall as well okay we have a couple of them pushing forward forward right now a few of these javelin again we are just going to kind of pick a few of these guys off. oh my god that did no damage okay i don't think that spear is, is very good in rbm uh yeah we'll pick off a few of these guys like so we'll go back to the oh my god we're doing like no damage with this i guess it is armored targets but still yeah okay cool well good to know good to know okay the main body is on their way now so everybody fire at will now i want you guys lobbing javelins and as you can see we've really split up the enemy line that initial volley oh lovely 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 i love seeing that green okay so they're gonna push hard on our line which is fine they're also gonna be able to get around the flank a little bit but as you can see we've also splitting the enemy line perfectly uh yeah it's really nice okay then we're gonna take our cavalry and we're going to charge their archers. With both of my cavalry, I want you guys just to hammer away them archers. Really try and reduce their numbers. Well, yeah, you can see we need loads more damage there. The cavalry is also going to come flying in here and rip through them perfectly. And yeah, you can see the Roman line just holding so amazingly. So this line is going to have to go a bit aggressive because we're going to need help on the other side. So you guys engage. Because that line is yeah, obviously under a lot of pressure right there. They should be fine though. We're also going to get them out of shield. We'll just have a bit more aggressive, I think. And they can just do it. Yeah, they can obviously just cut down these guys quickly. And then we're going to push over and help elsewhere. Yeah, that's going to be the plan for sure. Let's even dismount to see if we can help out a little bit quicker. Because with me here, we should be able to kill these guys quickly. And then obviously help out elsewhere. Yeah, we just slaughter these guys. The Germanic soldiers, you know, they have great body armor. But their head armor is super weak. And we can obviously take advantage of that. So let's finish these guys off. And then help out El on the other flank. Okay, let's go, go, go now. We're going to push over as fast as we can to help out on this side of the battlefield. There's a few cavalry still coming in. Like, someone kill him. There we go. You guys are welcome. And we're going to rush over. Obviously, the archers are still you know, a massive issue, but it's fine. We're almost formed up here right into their back. And that should basically allow us just yet yeah, to, to truly help out our soldiers. I mean, actually, I'm just going to try to tell these guys to charge now. Yeah, just charge, 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 guys. 
Some of our infantry are just still pushing out over there, which I guess is fine. I'm just going to tell the infantry to charge now. That's fine. I don't want these guys getting stuck in. We've got some cavalry in here as well. And then what I should really do as well is tell these guys to charge now. They'll still be in shield wall, but they'll just basically go a lot more aggressive. We're going to try and take on any of these flak bearers, try and reduce that morale. There we go. Yeah, our pilum and our skill with this weapon is just so high now. But we can just do so much damage. I kind of almost feel like I'm cheesing the game. Just because how much damage this does do. You can just see that we just rip through the enemy. And there you go. The enemy reinforcements have now spawned in, which is fine. They're going to be coming in on that flank. Okay, we're going to play be a bit more defensive. We will take advantage of this. It, it seems like a bit of a bug with RBM. Whenever reinforcements spawn, it seems like the archers really try and reform their formation. But they end up in like a real, really, really bad position. Okay, let's completely reform our line then. Completely reform the line, please. The archers are up here still firing away. Let's bring back all the cavalry as well. Yeah. Let's bring back all that cavalry. Uh, and we'll just play a bit more passive. We'll finish that guy off, yeah, for sure. Pull out our sword if we need to. Hopefully, we don't lose too many men reforming because that would suck. But I think it's going to be better in the long run if we do. There we go. Well, oh, they got some Scythian soldiers as well. Yeah, bring down the Scythians. They are... Very scary forces. And here we go. The next line of enemy infantry coming in. I mean, we've killed 400 of them. So granted, they should only have like one or two more lines of actual reinforcements. And I think this double line has like been really effective, honestly, uh, in our battle line. Actually, what I might try and do is I might try and get a unit of cavalry and just like rip through the central line. Uh, but yeah, having these two blocks of infantry, I think have been like super successful um, at just kind of outmaneuvering the enemy. They really have been. Yeah, no, realistically, you guys can charge now because it seems like the AI is... Some of their archers are all the way back here as well. Yeah, their archers are back there. So I think actually what I'm going to do is again just send you guys after after the archers again. I mean, we don't really have enough cavalry to do that, but let's just try because the infantry's not a problem. Guys, I told you to go after the archers and yet you're charging in here. Okay, I don't know what's happening there, but this infantry line is now pushing around, which is good. And the good nice thing is about this as their lower tier soldiers get on the battlefield is that our sword... Oh, beautiful. The boys are already coming around. That's so good. Uh, yeah, it means that basically our sword does so much damage to these lightly armored targets. Like you can see, we did 90 damage against him. If I hit this guy, I did 26. I mean, I killed him. But yeah, nowhere near as much. Okay, everybody charge now. We want to obviously put up a pressure as they're, they're falling back to get reinforcements. We've got, obviously, Artem's lively animations on as well. So when, as soldiers get wounded, they actually look wounded as well, which is cool. Which means they're much easier to kill, which I, I'm not going to complain. Okay, more reinforcements have formed up again. So we are going to, of course, form up again. And you guys form shield wall as well. Yeah, our cavalry is up against it for sure. I'm going to grab a few extra spears as well. Uh, and I mean, I'll, I'll throw a couple extra spears as well. Why not? Why not? We, we, we kind of really started neglecting... Our, uh, our throwing skills, honestly. And there's so many to pick up from. Okay, we've reformed again. There's so much AI cavalry. This is one of the scary things as well, because I think it, it thinks the Germanic cavalry, well, it is, the Germanic cavalry is a much lower tier. Um, even though it's not, because it is really good. But because of that, uh, they spawn in a lot more towards the end of the battle. So the Germanics get a lot more of their infantry first and then rely in heavily on their other soldiers. Um, that obviously causes some issues because... A lot of skirmisher cavalry towards the end of the battle can really kind of turn the tide of said battle. Okay, they've really clumped up on this side. So we should, of course, uh, charge on this group. Yeah, them are, that archer line is going to be so scary to, to charge. Hopefully, we can kind of keep them behind the, ba the battlement. If we can keep them, like, behind that hill, we can use that hill to our advantage. Take out the Numidian who has made a long march into the Alps. And just keep on pushing now. If we can kill this squadron and we can get around... And this should really be their last dump of infantry, I think. But maybe not. Maybe they still have some more. But also, so should we, right? We only, we've only lost 200 men so far. It's just that cavalry is going to be brutal. Like, look at all that cavalry behind us right now. Yeah, more reinforcements of us have arrived. And we actually just got a big influx of cavalry as well. But yeah, we'll tell the cavalry to charge. Hopefully, just focusing down the enemy cav. Because that's, that's something we really need to try and take out if we can. I think the boys can deal with the infantry fight now, so I'm going to go cavalry hunting and just try and take out as much of this horse as physically possible. Yeah, they've got a huge contingent of Scythian archers. Don't know really where they came from. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be something we're going to try and take out because I imagine they are very scary on the battlefield. 
Uh, but let's keep on working our way up there then. Yeah, more reinforcements. Oh, it seems like we've got an entirely fresh new company. Okay, cool. Let's stick these guys. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to transfer these guys over to, I guess, this squadron. Yeah, all of them. Just all of them getting there. So now we have 190 extra men there, which is pretty nice. Um, and do they have more? Yeah, they get more reinforcement spawning. Okay, well, I'll, I kind of want to get to this hill because it is going to protect me a bit from the archers. So let's do that. Let's get to that hill with our infantry. And I'm going to continue to try and focus down as much of this cavalry as possible. Okay, so we've set ourselves up here. The garrison, the reinforcement garrison's moved up to basically die, which is fine. We're going to form up here, though, with our archers. We've actually got a decent archer force now. But yeah, we're going we're to basically sit here, deal with the archers. We're going to let the garrison die again because, I mean, I can't command it. So it's, I can't really stop it from dying, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue to let them move up uh, and basically just hide behind this hill. Wait for them to reinforce again. And then we'll, then we'll push him. Because, yeah, right now they have 283 archers back there. There is no way I'm going to be able to deal with that. But this should, yeah, in theory, I think be their last block of reinforcements. They have 500 men, and I think they had about 1,200 in total. So that should be fine. Their cavalry is, yeah, a shell of its former self, which is amazing. Uh, our cavalry, not doing great, honestly, but doing okay uh, enough. And we'll just need to take out what remains of their infantry. I'm hoping that they're just going to come up to this hill. Their archers are going to get too close, and then we just run through with our formation okay here their infantry comes across so everybody go back onto fire at will as well hello uh, everybody go back onto fire at will now as well we have them turned off of it so yeah throw your javelins if you were but want to uh, i'm just all curious about how close the marches are going to get because this is not going to be hard to kill right this is just lowly armored militia you even set up a perfect firing trap here look at this of the archers just firing in on the hill like that is that is absolutely perfect if i do say so myself um but yeah, the cavalry, yeah, they have basically no cav left now. I mean, neither do we. I'm just going to bring my cav back, I think. And then, yeah, then it's just them archers. It's them 200 archers, which, as I said, I'm going to probably refuse to go and fight. Oh, look at that. they all just broken. So I wonder if that means that, they're, uh, that their actual soldiers are also going to break now as well, like their archers. Because that would be great for us, honestly. Uh, I don't know if they are. I think they are. Yeah, look at that. They've just fully broken. Perfect. Look at all them archers, man. There was no way I wanted to deal with them. Now, what we could do is I could do this and see if actually yeah, people do charge them down a little bit. I don't know if this is classed as a war crime, but I feel like, you know, 2,000 years ago, there was no such thing as the Geneva Convention. So war crimes, you know, don't really, you know, exist back then. Boom, look at that. So yeah, we lost 430 men, brave soldiers. 230 of them died, 200 wounded. That's, you know, not great, but it is what it is. I myself got 80 kills because I'm an absolute monster and leader of Rome. Uh, and then over on the other side, yeah, we, we killed 700 wounded, 300 and 300 retreated. I'm glad that we didn't have to deal with the marchers because we would have lost a lot more men charging them down. Hopefully as well, we get some prisoners. Yeah, I'm going to execute every single one of these people that I'm capturing capturing right now we are going full caesar because these guys have been pillaging rome for far too long and i've had a naps i've had enough i've had enough of this uh, some brave soldiers did upgrade i mean i would think so uh, but we, we've obviously lost a lot as well uh, in this assault however we're about to get fifty thousand experience from our soldiers which is going to be super nice so uh yeah and we can obviously take a bunch of loot as well for money because we're actually not that rich anymore so yeah fifty thousand experience boom that's going to probably rank up basically everybody who survived that battle which is actually pretty huge we only have 400 soldiers but remember we have 200 still left remaining i would have personally leveled up myself as well so 50 percent damage when hit the enemy in the head a plum oh my lord that's insane however we don't really need it or a chance of lancing staying couch after kills we don't so we'll take the we'll take the top one but it doesn't really matter because we basically one shot people in the head anyway so that's not too bad however 103 tactics is nice okay party leader damage when sent to confront enemies so more damage and auto resolves and damage against bandits um i guess yeah just more damage in our formation i think is more than good enough i'll be closing in so we're almost closing in on the stewardship experience which is good again nothing here is that useful yeah nothing here is useful at all really when troops no longer pay wages i mean i guess we don't even care about that almost at the max influence which is gonna be huge for us that's getting up there as well more morale Again, doesn't really matter. Morale is whatever. Shared experience, though, is nice and more morale. And yeah, I mean, again, whatever. Uh, okay, cool. So let's make our way into the castle. Everybody donates prisoners and also just more garrison. We will obviously request entry into the castle here. And I guess, I mean, there's going to be no room in the dungeon, right? Oh, there is some room in the dungeon. Nice. Well, let's give up all these archers. 
Uh, I mean, look how many prisoners we took there. Wow, that's insane. Again, a little bit of influence there, which isn't the best, but also not the worst. Have my boys become available yet? No, they haven't, right? Oh, I can't. No, I can. Yeah, sorry. They are. Are they here? No, yeah, my boys are busy fighting that other needless battle. Okay, cool. Well, 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 let's hold a bit of an execution, I guess. I also saw someone as well telling me that relationships do actually matter in the last episode. And it just doesn't. Like, you can roleplay all you want how, like, oh, the lords are more likely to raid your villages and stuff like that if they dislike you. But it just it just doesn't matter. Like, your villages are going to get raided either way. And if they do, again, your villages get raided. No one cares. Like, you can't recruit troops from there. But it just doesn't matter. Like, you can obviously talk about how these minor things can affect your campaign. But in the grand scheme of things, doing this just doesn't matter. Also, we are still getting negative opinions, by the way. That wasn't my point in the last episode. We just don't get the a million pop-ups from it. So everybody's going to hate me um, for doing this, I believe, still. Yeah, minus 30. Um, but... But it's not gonna like it just doesn't matter it just doesn't matter okay yeah, last two now last two killing these guys uh boom cool i mean hopefully this has reduced the amount of soldiers that they can field right uh, and the men will obviously be very inspired from that to continue to upgrade getting more numidian cavalry as well man i wish i know you can get like improved garrisons and stuff but i wish there were ways to get like a nice influx of foreign troops into your army It'd be so cool if you could just like, you know, set out a recruitment base and just get... Because I, I want more Spanish mercenaries. I want more Numidian mercenaries in my army. But if I wanted to get them, I have to go and move all the way over to Carthage and search for them. It'd be so cool if they implemented like a... Uh, like a recruitment system in this game where you could just recruit like and maybe at a tavern you could say i want this type of soldier to appear here and it will encourage mercenaries from that faction to come there that would be super super cool and i'd love to see that i'm interested to see what this army is this army gonna siege me there is no way i have 600 men here oh my god okay well we will obviously build all our all our catapults up and let's go i mean this could be this, i mean this is good for us right i'm not complaining so this is amazing. We're going to be able to get all of these uh, all of these siege equipments up. We only do any, any of 10 days worth of food, though. That is a slight problem. And it also disbanded my entire army, which is annoying. Luckily, we don't care about influence anymore, but still is a bit annoying. Oh, my God. Okay, so they are attacking me. We're going to absolutely demolish this army. We have four catapults. They obviously have siege towers and stuff. But even, like, even if we didn't have these catapults, we'd be able to absolutely just annihilate their forces. This is going to be really good. Oh, it's one of these smaller castles as well. This is like really nice for us. Um, because these smaller castles are just so much better. And like, look how many men we, we, we literally have more men than them on the battlefield. Ah, oh, yeah, this is going to be good. I'm going to tell all my infantry to hold fire, but I want to wait until they get way closer before we start throwing javelins. Because one of the really nice things is that we're going to be able to throw javelins like into the wall breaches and stuff here, which hopefully in turn will do a lot of damage. I almost don't care. Do I care? Like, do I care if they get this siege tower up? I guess it does. It will help reduce our casualties. But almost also, like, when they get closer, we're going to be able to do so much damage here. Yeah, it seems like we've got all the catapults focusing in on this one. So we, sh we should try and do damage to the, uh, to the siege tower. Because if we block this off, then it basically only gives them two entrance points. Which, again, we'll be able to funnel them in and just do so much more damage. So, yeah, let's, let's actually focus in here uh, and try. And I guess if we overshoot it... We get all them kills like that as well, which is nice. And does this still give you... I don't know if this still gives you engineering. Previously, you could farm engineering experience so quickly by just shooting artillery at people. And it used to be like the go-to thing to, to level up. But I don't think that's uh, available anymore. And yeah, we're going to quite quickly destroy the siege tower, I think. They'll still have one more up, but it'll be worth it. Boom. Okay, boom. There you go. There's one done right away. Nice. That's lovely. Hopefully as well, we get to keep some of this ammunition as well. It's a real shame that you can't um, tell your catapults to hold fire because it'd be so nice to save these rocks for when you're throwing them at people. But you can't do that uh, annoyingly uh, anymore. Uh, so that should, be a, that should be a perfect shot, I think. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're going to start taking a lot of kills now. I and mean, the nice thing is about, I think the way that they're going to be set up is that we're going to be able to kill a lot of them as they, they try and get ready here. So we're going to obviously have one position they're about to secure. We have 100 men here as well. So all of our men are over here now, which we just don't need them to be. So I might get them over here and just get them to start throwing javelins up there. Um, let's do that. Uh, can you... Uh, what the hell are you doing? Move, move out of the way. Let me load up here. Because again, they're all wasting their artillery as well, which is good. Oh, wow. We also destroyed... Did we destroy... No, they destroyed it. Okay, cool. So they did break through there, which is fine. Yeah, as I said, we can obviously use these rocks to 
uh, hit the enemy hard. And we've got all of our soldiers moving over here. They're going to start pushing up here. Some of our men have fallen down, unfortunately. Yeah, we have way too many men here. We really do. Uh, yeah, there is no way they are... All, all my men are up here as well for some reason. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you guys go back on fire at will now. Why not? You guys have peel them to throw, throw it. So I'm trying my best to get over here. Because I think we could do some gnarly shots here. Because you can normally, like, really barely fire. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I think the AI is going to probably route soon enough. Because there's no way they're making their way through here. And then we just need to obviously make sure we kill enough so that we can then counterattack and deal with the remaining forces. But yeah, this is going to be pretty nice. It's so dumb as well, because the AI should be able to now pull out ladders and go and attack the other side. They should be able to just start chopping down the main gate and stuff. The fact that you can just, like, funnel the AI into something like this is just really stupid. Like, as of right now, as, as a Roman consul, I don't mind, but it is quite silly, right? Because we are just, you know, like, why, why would they ever just attack this one point, you know, and not have a backup plan and stuff? I feel like it wouldn't be that crazy to set up, like, the AI to be able to muster ladders and stuff, but I guess it is what it is. And there you go, full-on retreat. We'll fire off a couple more shots the artillery. We'll have a good time. Uh, yeah, how much did we kill? We killed 500 of them. That probably gives us good chances to actually push on and, uh, yeah, deal with them. Again, everybody can charge now. But, yeah, they're going to they're gonna get the head out of there. The boys are going to run down, maybe kill a couple more. Uh, but, yeah, I'll take that. Look at that. There was no way they were taking this castle. I don't know what the Germanic fools were thinking. Maybe, maybe it's because, you know, we've been killing a lot of their leadership. So, maybe their leadership is all of a sudden in a bit of disarray. And we're taking advantage of that. Oh, look at that. More people to execute. Okay, beautiful. I and mean, yeah, we literally, we like, we haven't lost like barely any men. I like that. It's a shame we don't have any prisoners. It'd be great if they did have prisoners that we could also then uh, take. Um, and yeah, we don't want the archers. It's fine. I mean, I wouldn't mind Germanic archers because they are really good, but it's fine. And look at that, another 10,000 experience for the boys. So I wonder what happens. Yeah, so they still have 500 men there. Um, okay, and I've, I've obviously lost all of these people, right? But you guys are all nearby. So if I select you guys, for some reason, I can't get half of these guys anymore. If I bring you guys into my army and then we leave, we can probably have enough to yeah, chase this down now, which we should do, right? There's no way we shouldn't do this. And obviously, we have some wounded as well. We're going to be able to... Ca oh, yeah. Oh, also, sorry. I, I almost forgot. God, I almost forgot our favorite pastime of... Uh executing these lords now i think some of these lords aren't actually properly lords they're like companion lords which are like in with serve of a soldier and i think a few other mods add them in but still we should obviously make sure we go mad with power and uh, we just do this because again it just like i think this person is like a companion lord because they got like a weird last name um but yeah i mean 100 percent we should we should be doing this because it just reduces their armies and we've seen we fought so many of their soldiers right um that I do not feel bad doing this one bit. I don't think we're going to catch them. And obviously, they have also just conquered that as well, right? Yeah. They're, they're, they're obviously sieging that. So that's, that's where this army is running to. And there's no way we're going to catch it. Yeah. No way. Okay. What we should do then is we should probably fall back to Rome to replenish and then come back out here. Because I can almost guarantee you that they're going to set this under siege uh, momentarily. Um, to, oh, we'll come down and help our boy out here first, though. Of course, and get a nice little auto resolve for a little bit more tactics. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and you're welcome, my friend. This is one of our, yeah, Legatus Satorus. He has risen through the ranks, which is nice to see. And all, the good thing is as well, it does also raise our relationship with these guys, uh, which is all good for when they obviously inevitably join us in our rebellion. The nice thing is as well is that we have two consuls. We got this guy as well. He's kind of going off and, and causing some mayhem as well. So it looks like he's taking his 700 men to, I assume, lift the siege there. Which is good because whilst he's doing that, I'm obviously back in Italy rebuilding this force as quickly as possible. A nice cool system we have going for us. It would be cooler if I could actually command him myself, you know, if I could actually tell him where to go uh, and, and, you know, what to take. And I feel like that system, I feel like there is a mod out there that does do that. Um, and I feel like it wouldn't be that difficult to actually create a mod like that because you, oh, they're already sieging this. That's insane. We're going to go back, I guess, but that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I feel like you could quite easily do that by like selecting an army and then like just turning on the point of interest and kind of be like, Go and take that. And the AI will be like, okay, I'll try and take that the best I can. I feel like that system would actually work quite well in this game. And I'm surprised no one's done it. Maybe they haven't. I just haven't noticed the mod. But I feel like that would be a really cool mod to use. 
We also will grab anyone else who's kind of close to us. I mean, we kind of need every man, woman, and child that we can grab because I can only guess that they have another thousand man army there. Like, I'm going to take a guess and say that's how many they have. We'll also ransom our prisoners and we'll take the, the 12 mercenaries there as well because every man uh, we can grab is going to help and let's rush over. Hopefully, we'll be in time. It'd be really insane if we're not, but we should be okay. All right, nice. There's a oh, oh, nice. The Empress is actually already fighting. Okay, that's good for us because that's going to slot their attack massively. I'm coming. I don't think we're going to get there in time. Oh, we are going to get there in time. Oh, amazing. Okay, let's definitely help out the Empress, which is annoying because I don't really want to help her out because you know, if she died, that's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, we'll just auto-resolve that one again. Not really a battle we need to fight. Uh, oh, look at that. More, more meat for the carrion birds. All right, cool. Yeah, this this castle is absolutely chocker with, with soldiers. Again, we're going to continue on our, our little spree. It'd be interesting, actually, after this to actually take a look. Um, oh, wait, was that the leader? I think because I'm killing... I'm not sure if that was the leader of Germanic tribes or what. But I think because I'm killing everybody is, like, causing lots of political strife inside of the kingdom. Which makes sense, right? I would be pretty uh, destroyed if you know, clans were just getting... At, like, our leader was basically leading us into battle. Uh, yeah, who was the previous... Did I just execute him? And it says I've never met him before, so I guess. And it does, like, it doesn't say who killed him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at. Oh my lord. Look at all of this. Where does it say who people. Yeah, he was taken prisoner by me. So, yeah, a lot of these people who. Yeah, had been taken prisoner by me. So, we are definitely killing a bunch of them. I feel like that wasn't the proper leader. Yeah, I feel like this guy was the proper leader. Uh, what was his last seen words? Yeah, he was executed by me. So, yeah, I actually executed the leader of the Germanic tribes. Good riddance. I mean, I don't care. Good riddance. I mean, I guess we should look, try and conquer something now as well. I'd love to conquer this settlement, honestly. But it's just whether or not we'll be able to hold them. Also, how many men can they muster now? That's also something like, because like, we've killed so many lords. Yeah, down to 9,000. We're up to 8,000 now. That's gnarly. Uh, cool. Well, I'm going to head over head over here because this is like a, a reasonable castle. I mean, it's still kind of far away. I like keeping my power base nice and collected, but we should, right? Because we need more lords to like us so that they... I mean, what we could also do as well is we could also start donating gold to kingdoms as well. So let's fight. So these guys like us 100. These guys like us 99. So let's donate a little bit of gold. Uh, yeah, I mean, have... Have like 11,000 gold. That boosts us, what, to 100 with them now? It should do. You guys like us 100 already. You guys like us 92. So this would be a good faction to maybe donate some gold to. Um, again, just to improve our relations a little bit. And we could spend a little bit of influence as well. Yeah, boost that relationship up. Again, we just want to make some friends, you know. The more people who like us, the more people are likely to actually... Uh, you know, join us in our rebellions. Okay, cool. Let's head home then because we are running a little bit low on money. So I do need to actually go sell some gear as well. Oh, God, there's a battle going on here as well. Let's make sure we join up here. Um, and yeah, just obviously send the poison. I guess we should probably take loot now as well. The fact that we are... Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. It's your own fault for being captured, though. And I like to blame the Empress for this. Like, it was her executive order to start going on a massive uh, killing spree. Uh, but it's working. I mean, it literally is working. Okay, so one settlement I really want to conquer is this one right here because it just pushes them back across the Danube and we can use that river to our advantage. Last time I remember, though, they did have a very large scale defense there. So that is, again, something we're going to have to worry about. Nice. We can finally grab a few of these guys for the extra man. We just need kind of need the last, like, oomph of, of soldiers. And the fact that we've been killing so many, I don't know. Oh, nice. That army broke apart as well. Can we take any of our other companions in? Because I much prefer having my companions with me. They're just less likely to die. I mean, I have to actually don't have to reform the army. I get, that's another really silly thing about the companion armies. Is that you actually have to physically... Oh my god, they have a thousand men here. How much food? 15 days. We Yeah, I guess we're going to just starve them out. But there's still 600 men in the militia. I guess we're going to have to starve them out and make breaches. Yeah, this is going to be a long siege. Which is not good for us. Because it, it is more likely that the AI is going to be able to like form up their own... like their own, like, counter-attacks and start taking land and stuff, but I think this would be such a valuable settlement to take from them that we're gonna, we're gonna stick with it. And we are obviously getting, you know, an extra 50 men, an extra, yeah, an extra 200 men, so we'll be at 900. So with a breach or two, I think we'll be able to easily conquer this. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna have enough influence to uh, siege this castle out after we've starved them out, so we'll just have to fight the extra men, I think. I'm gonna let the artillery destroy the last of the artillery. Uh, we're gonna wait till daytime, and then I think we're gonna go in. I do think, however, we are gonna have to push up one more. That's the last of our influence, so we have to just roll with it. We have made two breaches, which I think does mean that we win the battle. 
I think the fact that we have two breaches is enough. But yeah, we just don't have the, like, I don't have any more influence. We just have to go now. Um, yeah, I hope that no one else has lost any land as well. Whilst we've been here, we've been here a while, uh, about 10 days so far. Oh, nice. Leadership is up as well. Cool. Um... Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, again, we're never going to break anyway, but it's actually probably pretty good for sieges as well. The more soldiers I kill, the more morale we get. So let's grab make a difference. Then the next upgrade is more party size and also more clan party size, which again, super, super nice. Uh, and then the final one is just more party size above 250, which again, it will be really good. I mean, okay, we have a we have a we have a battering ram as well. We're just going to go into the city. We have breaches. They just have militia. They do actually have a garrison. And yeah, the garrison's going to be, I guess, a bit scary. But let's just do it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Let's upgrade first, of course. But let's let's move in and go for it. Okay, so we just literally want... <laughs> yeah, we want 500 men right here. They have no artillery. And we just blitz for a breach. I don't know what... Probably just... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, right? Just everybody. We just go, go, go. Their archers are going to be painful. But we just push. Uh, guys, get yeah, just out, out of shield wall and we just break our way through because once we're in the city, it's GG. It's it's Jova for them. Like, they're not going to be able to stop us. Everybody hold fire as well. I want you guys to wait until we're actually inside the settlement. And then the nice thing is most of the time you can actually... Oh, I told you guys to hold fire. Hold arrows. Was that my... Did I tell them to fire again? That was my bad. Yeah, most of the time, you can kind of get in here before the AI really reacts. So let's just go. Go, go, go. I'm going to dismount as well. Obviously, uh, my horse is going to get thrown in here. Um, and yeah, I mean, let's blitz. In we go, boys, once more into the bleach. And as I said, like, yeah, the AI doesn't really stop us. Oh, my God. Get, like, over here. Can we, like, take the gatehouse? Go, go, go. No. I want you guys, like, over here. Because if we could take the gatehouse, that'd be huge. I'm going to take extra casualties here just by getting more soldiers in, I think. Okay, now just charge, actually. Yeah, just charge. Yeah, charge and then fire will as well. Let people start throwing their javelins. All right, go. Yeah, I mean, oh my god, what a waste. What a waste. I hate Battle Lord AI, man. Hold fire. Now, balance of power bar is heavily in my favor, which is weird. I guess if the quality of our soldiers is just so much better. Uh, I need you guys to keep on pushing, man. Because, yeah, they're reinforcing now, right? I need you guys just to get in. Our uh, battering ram must be up here soon as well, right? Is a battering ram up here soon? Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's almost up here. Okay, cool. Okay, so the AI is doing a pretty good job now, kind of pushing me back. So we are going to have to be very aggressive. Let's just keep on pushing, keep on pushing. And then what I'm going to probably do is take a squadron of soldiers uh, from the back here when we break through the gate. And we're going to go through there. Also, not a bad plan of action to get some good headshots right there. Again, I feel like our front... I don't know if, it, like, if anyone has any tips for me. But I feel like my throwing experience has been going up so slowly. Um, I've been getting, like, headshots and distance shots and stuff. But, yeah, I feel like my throwing is just so slow at actually leveling up. Uh, and it's pretty annoying, right? Because it's such a... Oh, my God. What am I doing, right? Like, I've just forced the AI over here. Let's quickly... I, I, for some reason, I just kind of almost forgot that we had a completely second breach. Let's get some more boys over here. Now, annoyingly, I, hopefully it's taken soldiers from the back. Oh, we've... No, we're not in the city, right? Okay, good. We're busy fighting there and there. And then I'm... Like, I, I should really be... <laughs> I should be taking advantage of this. Like, once we got stuck, there was no reason for me not to do this. So let's get these boys over here. Uh, and then let's just push into the city, right? This side is completely undefended now. I mean, it's not completely undefended, but... Boys? Yeah, here we go. Uh, you guys shouldn't be in shield. No, you guys should be fine. Okay. Hello, some archers here. Let's quickly uh, take care of these guys. Should be pretty pretty quick. As we pour into the city now. God, even this sword... Yeah, this sword is not great. Even this sword is like bouncing off when you're not stabbing. Yeah, let's set you guys up like here, please. Annoyingly, it's like dragging some soldiers over from that fight, which means they're just going to die. But yeah, our boy, we've sandwiched them inside the city now. they got some archers here as well. Uh, you guys can fire at will now if you want to. Yeah, you guys have javelins to throw from. The nice thing is, it's basically just like archers spawning here. Which is just going to get cut to pieces, right? Especially with our new perk as well. Where we do bonus damage in the head. These guys have no armor. So it is literally just cutting them to pieces. Uh, you guys can now fire at will as well. Uh, and then, yeah. You guys just charge. You guys just charge. You guys just charge. Yeah, it is so Jova. They, yeah, they don't stand a chance. We've basically sandwiched their forces on multiple fronts. The city is lost. Even with their thousands of men. Yeah, we're, we're cutting them to pieces. Literally like cattle. Yeah, breaches still seem to be just so superior when it comes to uh, winning battles. Look at that. They're able to claim a victory once again. And this is a big battle for us. But yeah, breaches are just godlike. They really are. 
Boom, there we go. So we ended up losing only 63 men in that. Again, their quality wasn't good, but only 63, man. Breaches are just, yeah, ridiculously broken. If there's nothing to stop you, and I think it's the main thing is that the AI doesn't defend the breaches immediately. They kind of sit back and wait um, for you to get inside the settlement, which obviously is never going to never gonna work, is it? I think this is a settlement. We are going to pillage, and then we are going to capture ourselves because not only does that give us more soldiers, that also allows, just gives us more power as well. We can fill the garrison here really nicely. Um, and uh, yeah, again, the food obviously is going to be a problem and stuff. Speaking of which, has our horse, are we bonded with our horse yet? No, we're, 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 we're bonding 51%. Uh, I feel like Festus as well has also changed color. I feel like she was black a second ago, but I guess not. So let's immediately drop them some money to help out with building regulations and then immediately go into civil infrastructure for the loyalty and get rid of what they're building right now. We just basically need the settlement to be uh, to be loyal uh, than anything else. And the more we do that, the better. Obviously, wants to get food. Uh, it's going to help. I mean, realistically as well, we also have like 500 of men. Like the Empress herself has a bunch over there as well, which is not bad. Uh, let's obviously make sure we drop off our prisoners. I guess we could sell our prisoners as well. Again, another annoying downside here is that as we conquer this land, I don't think they have cultural conversion inside or like they don't they, they, i think they're gonna do like a um a levy system in in this mob that's just not in yet so a lot of our armies now gonna be starting to be filled up with these germanic soldiers that we're recruiting which i don't necessarily like as much you know uh, the war is gonna be over as well so there's no need to kind of keep this army together anymore the war is over and i mean what a war it was right let's bring everybody apart um let's let them do their thing um and i guess like how many men can we have i guess also as well which make sure that we're upgraded here as well because as you can see we've got an optio gap a few of these Vexillums, uh, one of these guys, and a bunch of our Praetorians aren't fully upgraded yet. So we, of course, want to grab as many of those as possible. Um, but yeah, what's our party size at now? Yeah, 308. That's gnarly. 308, like elite soldiers all charging forward is going to be just unstoppable, man. Oh, you are joking me. They took this castle back. That is, yeah, that is ridiculous. Oh my God, it's so annoying. So realistically, we only actually took this one castle or this city and we lost that castle. And yet look at the balance of power power as well. Uh, that's insane. Yeah, they got 10%. Look how we've executed 16 lords in this war. That is wild. Now what we do is I basically just go to all of these castles and I just recruit every man, woman, and child we can. And then we go back to a city. And then we, uh, yeah, when we go back to one of our cities, we, but we send all the troops to the garrison. I do the exact same thing uh, again. So we basically have like 600 men inside of our garrison. And then we kind of can hand out soldiers appropriately, like high tier soldiers appropriately to our companions to obviously make them. Because, yeah, one of our companions can have like 200 soldiers, which is crazy, right? So, yeah, boom. We just dropped off like 400 men here. We we're actually kind of broke as well. Something I didn't realize. Uh, well, yeah, we do. We have, I mean, we have a lot of stuff to sell. We just need to sell it. But yeah, boom. So now we actually only have four men. So I'd laugh if we actually did get assaulted. But yeah, we're going to go and basically go on a mass recruitment drive, uh, come back, and then this war will be over. We'll then be able to, yeah, I mean, I guess it does add up over time. Uh, but yeah, then we'll be able to basically outfit all of our companions with, hopefully, the best soldiers that they can physically have. And there we go. The war has, uh, you know, peace has been declared. The armies are exhausted from the conflict and they ticked up. They're going to pay us a massive, yeah, 100k. Yeah, 100k, no, sorry, a million gold, basically. And then also daily tribute as well. Nice, cool. Um, so that should also help us out. We got a nice little share of that. And um, we also took a castle or someone did. Okay, so that guy already loves us. So we should be looking to try and build relations like this guy. Let's just dump 100 influence with that. Because I don't think it's going to affect him yet. We lose five with him, but we gained 100 with this guy. And now all of a sudden, this clan really likes us. And they're also probably pretty annoyed at the Empress because they don't have any land. So actually, I mean, oh, I don't know. We'll leave this, we'll leave this succession uh, campaign for a little bit. But what I might also do is I might leave and just do an abdication and try. Because I'll get voted in surely afterwards. We'll leave out because it would be cooler to have a civil war. But I mean, to be fair as well, if she denies the abdication, would then also have a civil war, but they're more likely to accept it with enough people asking. Oh my god, they want to declare war again. Okay, I'm going to ignore that for like 30 days because, god damn it, we've already literally just done a war and we want to immediately go to war with Gaul again. I mean, again, that's one of the reasons why the Banner Lord Diplomacy system isn't great because of stuff like that. Um, what we should do then is I'll recruit all of these soldiers and we should obviously, because it's going to pass, right? We should grab every one of our companions uh, uh, and then head back. Boom, there you go. War has been declared, which actually, I mean, it's not the end of the world because we do kind of want to go to war with them because this is where our power basin is, right? Like, 
This now gives us opportunity to kind of start conquering a lot of ghoul. And as we're on our Caesar arc right now as well, it's actually not the worst thing in the world. Uh, but still, it is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, let's go back and let's build up our armies first and foremost. Oh, nice. Some of our actual army companions leveling up as well. Nice. Cool. We'll take that. So we'll stick another point in intelligence because these are good stats to have. Uh, and also like leadership. I guess we'll keep on buffing stewardship because the more stewardship he gets, the better. The more soldiers he can have. Uh, which is nice. I actually think one of the other companions also leveled up as well. The annoying thing is it doesn't tell you that they've leveled up properly um, because it doesn't like doesn't show you that they need to level up anywhere, which is kind of annoying. Is this guy our scout? I think this guy's our scout, right? Yeah, he's our scout. So let's boost up his uh, his scouting capabilities, I guess. Okay, cool. So we have returned home. So let's organize this army. Well, let's first things first, let's wait for this army to come join us. Boom, they've just joined us. Okay, cool. Let's go to the keep. Let's go to the garrison and let's do a little bit of maintenance. So... Uh, we will give over all of these soldiers to the garrison. I know they're over it. And then, of course, we will go to tier uh, and we'll go boom, boom. Uh, okay, cool. So I will, of course, take my little clump of uh, elite noble soldiers uh, that will be in my army just in general. But we have 89 of these guys. Again, these guys will be part of my party. So I guess I should grab them just so I know that I have them. We'll take all the Vexillums. Uh, I'll take you guys. And then, I mean, again... Kind of almost one lot of these soldiers. Like, I feel like I grabbed a lot more soldiers than we have here. What has taken up most of the... I mean, I guess it's the Legios here. Yeah, I guess. I mean, let's do our army first. I mean, to be fair as well, we need to wait a second for a lot of these, these party upgrades to happen. Okay, yeah. We can have 300 men now. Good. So let's take all of our elites. Uh, we'll take the mercenary. Uh, oh, these guys look cool, actually. Uh, we should probably grab more of them. There's also what, yeah, my, my Numidian skirmish cavalry. We want all of those in our army, of course. The Iberians, of course. The infantry, of course. And the archers. Okay, it's a little bit over. So we can now give over like a couple back. Okay, well, we're going to grab them anyway, right? We have all this cavalry. Let's just take everything and then I'll organize it a bit better because realistically, everybody should be fighting. We leave a small garrison here of like this. It's not a great garrison. Okay, cool. I know we're over our limits, but let's now let's talk to everybody. Let's donate troops to them and then let's organize them. Because you got you, these guys actually can't have that many more soldiers. But something to keep in mind, if we're like fighting as one unit, it doesn't actually matter who has what, right? Because we're all going to be fighting anyway. Hey, okay, boom. They are all maxed out. We do need to obviously give over the excess back to the garrison, which shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. I mean, we still need to get rid of 40 men. Oh my God, this is going to be hard. Okay, Legio 2 is fully operational now. Look at her go. Uh, yeah, this is a very nice army. Basically, just the best that Rome has to offer, uh, really. We have so many high-tier soldiers in it. People are leveling up their stats, which is nice. Question is, where do we want to go? Do you want to head like... Because we've got an army up north, which is good. Would we rather... Yeah, go over to the west, maybe? Try and take this, even though it's not really under our command? Yeah, I guess we'll go to the Pyrenees and we'll start conquering some of the Spanish settlements. We obviously need to keep a close eye on our, our settlements as well. Make sure we don't get overrun or anything. And it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to grab a few more companions. Again, people who maybe don't necessarily like me as much. Um, just by keeping them together, that just helps us out pretty massively. And also just adds more cannon fodder to the army as well. Um, I don't really need to go with a massive army. Okay, they're already sieging us all the way over here. Can you deal with that? You have, what, 800 men? Are you going to deal with that? I guess so. And I don't really care if we lose that, honestly. It's not my settlement, so uh, that's fine. We have another army there. God, I'm making Rome into a bit of a superpower. And taking a look at this as well, I feel like we're just not going to be able to do this. So let's do an abdication. Um, a rebel faction has emerged. Yeah, that's me doing it. Uh, and then I think more people are more likely to join the abdication because then we have a chance of just getting voted and then we don't have to fight a massive civil war, uh, which would be nice, honestly. I'm also hoping that we've just completely... I mean, the Germanians still look so powerful. But, I mean, so do we. So do we. Oh, wow. My settlement has actually been rebelled against me. Okay. We're going to have to deal with that. I want to take this first. Um, but, yeah, we are 100% going to go over there and probably deal with our rebellion. I'll, I'll probably pillage the city to no end as well. That's really annoying. Hopefully, no one else takes it. We should be okay. Um, oh, they destroyed that tower as well. What the hell? Um, yeah, but we should be okay because, obviously... We have the strength and we can just like pillage the city to destroy all the prosperity. In this uh, in this patch, it does seem like rebellions are very likely uh, to happen after taking a foreign cultural city. And there's no like culture conversion mechanic, which again is a little bit annoying um, as is kind of hard to like set it up. Are you going to come steal my car? Yeah, okay, cool. Great. You go come and mess up my siege for no reason. I mean, I guess it does allow us to auto resolve the battle, but still, uh, yeah, we'll join the siege. Do I just leave the siege? I don't waste my men, honestly. I'm just going to leave, honestly. 
You guys attack, man. Like, you have that, right? I'll, I'll sit by in case I need to, but you guys should be okay. Like, I don't want to waste my men here. Are you guys going to be okay? Do I need to come help out? I don't... I don't think you guys are going to take that, honestly. God, the auto-resolve is so brutal. Yeah, let's just help out. Again, we lost 37 men. A lot of wounded as well, which is just dumb, but... It's fine. It is what it is. The more, the more annoying thing is that we don't just get to keep this settlement now. Like, it'd be really nice if we could just conquer the settlement and go from there. We're about to bond as well, which is good. But now we have to hope that the Empress actually gives us the settlement, which I don't know how likely that is to happen. Boom, look at that. By voting on that castle, I now get the, the ultimate, the immortal charm right there. Just plus five influence per day. That's gonna, yeah, just... In, like, we're gonna have basically unlimited influence now at this point. Uh, which is obviously going to be absolutely incredible. Now, this is the settlement that we want. Yeah, and boom, people are voting for us. I'm going to just, again, influence is basically non-existent now. I'm going to make sure that we do conquer that. I should probably go back as well and just double check. It's really frustrating, though, because we there's no way we have enough companion limits to have someone in all of our companion slots and also lead armies and then also govern these settlements. Like, you should be able to just have, like, a governor of the city. I think in Banner Kings, you can just assign one of these people to govern the settlement, which is just how it should be. Or you should be able to govern multiple settlements. It's, yeah, a really, really bad mechanic. Okay, cool. Again, we'll just leave it on civil infrastructure to boost the loyalty and influence of the settlement and give them some money as well and just hope for the best. Uh, the garrison there is actually not that bad. Cool. But well, let's head over to this settlement to go and reconquer it. I believe in the Roman armies just to absolutely dominate this war, honestly. Uh, yeah, we have number of them basically two to one now as well. We're the Germanian hordes. Uh, and that's a nice little settlement to have, right? That kind of fills our border quite nicely. Question is, has anyone really joined my uh, my faction for abdication? No. However, we are like a big portion of, of the faction. If we get someone else to join us, we'd be in a very good situation of just like forcing abdication. Oh, nice. And we've also leveled up as well. God, I haven't leveled up in so long. Uh, I guess we do that. Leadership is going up, but actually pretty fast as well. So I guess we boost up our stewardship just to keep on leveling that up. If the problem is we don't have any influence because I was never going... Sorry, we don't have any points in this because I was never going to level up. Oh, yeah. Something we should definitely probably do actually is level up our riding. I also wouldn't mind leveling up our poem, but our poem is still going up as well quite nicely. Uh, let's do that. And then we have one more point point. Um... I guess we'll do this in intellect. Yeah, because having like we are our steward at the end of the day at this point. Okay, we finally made it over here. We should honestly, yeah, they, I mean, they actually have a thousand men in there. Can we start? Oh, they all just flocking like cowards now. Yeah, I mean, we could just starve them out. The only thing is we are also at war with a different faction, uh, which is annoying because they're so far away. God, rebellions are just annoying, man. I wish there were like, I wish there were more things to do with rebellions. Instead of just, like, oh, it's, it's rebelled. I wish there was like, you know, the people were restless. You can do these things to kind of ease the pain of rebellion. Like, realistically, there was nothing I could do in that situation. But so I guess I could maybe have added the governor of the Germanic cause, but I'm not Germanic, so I don't have any of them companions. And, like, there's literally, like, I could just sit in the settlement and stop it rebelling if you're in the side of the settlement and it doesn't rebel. But then, what's the point of playing the game? There should really be, like, a mechanic of, like, oh, the, the town villagers are coming together demanding these, these, like, things. And then you're like, okay, I'll I'll give you these. I won't. Or, no, I, I don't know. There could be so much more. Also, look at this nice little bubble we're pushing out as well once we take this back. But that'll be for the next episode. This should be, hopefully, an hour-long episode. I've recorded for about an, almost two hours now. So, hopefully, that's enough uh, footage to can edit down. Uh, next episode, we'll be sieging this back. Uh, and obviously conquering basically well i think once this is conquered we just go on a rampage across uh across the settlement and then yeah we also uh we also just do our civil war as well uh, i'm hoping people like are gonna join this the problem is everybody loves her because we keep on winning wars but we're we're basically halfway there if we get like two clans to join which i mean they should right they should um we will be able to just to initiate it right away um, and even if we don't, if I just go on a rampage and start conquering, like, every settlement in Gaul, we'll be able to do this ourselves, I'm hoping. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this, please do drop a like and a comment down below. Uh, I really do appreciate all the support on this series. Obviously, long run series kind of do dwindle in views, but you guys have been keeping these views super consistent. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it still. And again, if you guys have any ideas on stuff to do in the future, please let me know. I know people are dying for the first Punic War against Carthage. I'm trying. I'm trying. There's just enemies at the gates everywhere. Trust me. Uh, but yeah, you know, as soon as hopefully we can get like enough peace in the realm and we get strong enough, people won't declare 
war on us and then we can just simply focus a big war against Carthage, which I, I want it as much as you guys do. I really do. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, drop a like, drop a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.